Hi, this is an example of an oral mechanism exam for speech language pathology. I know that sounds fancy terms, but all that means is you're just going to look at your face and inside your mouth and make sure everything looks good and is functioning properly. So I'm going to take a few minutes and then we'll be done. So the first thing I'm going to do is sanitize our station with an antibacterial wipe because we don't want to have any germs on our station. And then I'm going to have my patient here sign a consent form just before we get started. And while she does, I'm going to wash my hands because it's really important to be clean when you're working with someone else. You don't want to spread any germs. All right. Thank you, ma'am. All right. Let's get started. You ready? Yeah. Okay. Just look straight at me. We're just going to check the symmetry of your face. Make sure everything's even. Everything looks really good. So now we're going to check your lips. So can you pucker them for a kiss for me? Good. Now while you're doing that, fill your cheeks with air. Good, we don't want to see any air escaping from your lips, so that looks really good. Okay, can you smile for me? Nice and pretty, good. Now go, O, E, O, E, O, E, O, E. Very nice, very nice. Okay, can you look straight forward for me? We're just gonna check your jaw. Make sure it's nice and even, everything feels really good. Good, okay, look at me. Open your mouth wide, good. Now can you go? Good, move that jaw left to right. Very good. Okay. Now I'm going to wash my hands one more time just before we go inside her mouth. Don't freak out, it'll be fine. Okay, okay let's get a glove. Put this on. We can get it on. Sometimes these gloves are tricky to get on. Okay, now we got it. Okay, can you open your mouth wide for me? Everything looks good. Nice pink color. Looks really moist. Good. Okay. Now we're going to have some fun. You could stick your tongue out for me. Good. Now go side to side, up and down. Can you lick your lips for me? Good. Okay. Can you, you know, when you get peanut butter on the roof of your mouth, you want to get that off. So put the tongue right behind your teeth on that alveolar ridge. Push straight back to your palate. Get all that off. Good, good. Okay, now we're gonna check your teeth. Make sure everything's where it's supposed to be and looking nice. You feel like you're at the dentist? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, did you have your wisdom teeth out? Yes. Okay, thought so. Okay, I'm gonna bite down for me. I'm gonna feel your bite. Make sure it's even. Oops, sorry. It's okay. <laughs> good, good job teeth look awesome. Okay, now we're going to look at your palate. Okay, stick your tongue out for me. Can you tilt your head back a little bit? Good. You have a really nice palatal arch there. Now I'm going to feel those ridges on your palate. Make sure they're feeling good. Sorry, I know it tickles. Okay, good job. Palate looks awesome. Okay, now we need to look at your soft palate which some people call the velum. Okay, looks good. Can you go ah, 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 ah? Very good. I had you do that because you need to make sure that soft palate raises and lowers every time you do that. And you did awesome. Okay, one more look in. Let me look at your uvula and tonsils. I'm not seeing your tonsils. Did you have them taken out? Yes. Okay, I thought so. And if you could put the tongue to the top of your mouth, and make sure that frenulum's there. Good, very good. All right, okay. I'm gonna take my glove off because we're done working inside the mouth. I'm gonna wash my hands every time I take off my gloves. So while I'm washing my hands, let me ask you, do you know when you brush your teeth and you stick your toothbrush too far back, do you get a little, you gag sometimes? Yeah. Okay, that's normal, that's supposed to happen, so don't think anything's okay. wrong, okay. Now what we're going to do is I need to test your speech rate, so if you could just go p -p -p as fast as you can for 10 seconds, okay? I know you can do it. Go. Very good. I know it feels silly. Okay. Now we're going to do the same thing with the t sound as fast as you can for 10 seconds. Ready? Go. Very good. 
Ta 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 ta. All right, excellent. Okay, this one's gonna be a lot harder, but I have faith in you. I know you can do it. We're gonna make the same thing. Do the same thing with a k sound as many times as you can in ten seconds. You ready? Yes. Go. Very good. All right. Now this last one is gonna be tricky, but you can do it. We're gonna put all three sounds together. Go pataka pataka as fast as you can for ten seconds. All right. And go. Pataka 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 Very good. We're done with that. Thanks for being a trooper. I know that's not fun to do. Okay. Now that we're almost done, you can relax, take a deep breath for me. Just let it out. Good breath control. Now we're gonna test your breath pressure. You can make that move for me by blowing as hard as you can. Very good, very good. Okay, we're all done, you did excellent. So at the end, you're gonna wanna wash your hands one more time. Make sure you got all those germs off. And it's really important to sanitize all your utensils after you use them, and then again, before you use them on the next patient. Thanks so much, you did great. That's the end of our exam.